Hey, YouTube, it's Marita, and welcome to another edition of the Nurse Lounge. In this edition, we're actually going to talk about is it necessary to, um, is it necessary to basically what I call take the scenic route? Is it necessary to be a CNA, then an LPN, then a two year, then a four year, and so forth? Is it necessary? If you want to see what my answer is or what my thoughts are on this, please stay tuned. My name is Dr. Marita P. I'm a registered nurse, been a nurse for almost 18 years. And my specialty is OBGYN, Well Baby Nursery. I'm a nurse educator and I am doctorally prepared. With this being Nurses Week, I really want to dive into some topics that are like really, really nursing school or nursing related so that we can have some creative dialogue about what the do's, don'ts, are's, and are nots of nursing and it's what it's like what it is and what it isn't and this is a question that i actually receive on TikTok quite a bit and if you're not following me on my other social media platforms please do so and follow me there and um but but i digress um i feel like people you know say well i became you know i became a cna first and i went to lpn school da, 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 da. and so then i've had people ask me is that necessary and the short answer is no it's not necessary you do what's good for you. And I say that because, you know, I was never LPN first. I never was a CNA first. Um, I went straight for the BSN because of the fact that I already had a bachelor's degree. And that's just what made more sense for my situation. And keep in mind, I said my situation. A lot of people tend to follow what everyone else does without thinking about what is good for them. And for me personally, what was good for me was to go to get my bachelor's degree in nursing and move forward from there. I had no need nor no desire to go be a CNA, LPN, or a two-year RN before becoming the four-year RN. But this video is in no way knocking anyone who chose that route for them. You do what is good for you. I call it taking the scenic route. And sometimes taking the scenic route is really best for some people. And I say that because maybe you want to see, is healthcare really what I wanna work in? Do I really wanna help people? Um, is this what I think it is? And maybe see, being a CNA is your ticket to get into the profession in general, the healthcare profession in general, and kind of see what your way around to see if you kind of like this or not like it or whatever it happens to be. And I have no issue with that. Please go do that. And then after that, people say, well, I'm going to go to school to be an LPN first, and then I'm going to work my way up. There is nothing wrong with doing those things, but there is also nothing wrong with not taking that route and if you say that being doing the bsn is what i want to do i already know that and you have the time and you have the money to invest in that go straight bsn and then keep it moving from there or if you feel like doing the asn which is actually the 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 asn degree is actually held by more nurses than the bsn degree believe it or not and it's for obvious reasons. It costs less and you can get done faster. And that was the intent of the um, ADN program was to do so. So I'm not knocking that degree either. And then have the hospital pay for you to get your BSN if you choose to go on. That is great too. There are some people who only want to be LPNs and that's all they want to do. And there's nothing wrong with that. So I guess the whole point of this video is wherever you come in at, whatever you want to do, be okay with that. Do not let anybody have you up here thinking that because you want to do the BSN and that's the way you want to do it, that you should start at the bottom and be a CNA and work your way up. No, don't do that if you don't want to do that. Now, the other side is true too. People are like, well, I really want to take the scenic, what I call the scenic route. I really want to be a CNA first. I really want to get a feel for everything that I want to do and see what this is like. And then when I want to go to school to be an LPN and see what that scope of practice is like. And then I want to go be a two-year RN and see what that practice is like and see then what I could actually do with having the extra credential, shall I say, to be a BSN nurse. There is nothing wrong with either routes. I am really sick of people who want to downplay one way or the other. We both must, we all must choose our path, know our why, know our end game, meaning knowing where we want to come out at and figure out how we can get there the best way for us. 
For some people, it's a financial decision as to why they take the scenic route, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's As long as you get there, that's all that matters. Just get there. But for me, it wasn't a matter of taking that route because I already had a bachelor's degree, and because I already had the degree, it made no sense to go backwards. So I might as well just go ahead and get another bachelor's degree if I only have to do two years anyway, which is what I did. So for me, I did what was feasible for me because that's what made sense for me. Don't let anyone talk you out of doing what you want to do the way you want to do it. Now, the only caveat to that is I do not buy into the whole master's degree direct entry programs, which you have heard me say time and time again that I do not like. Um, if you are not going to practice as a registered nurse first. So if you're coming into nursing as a second degree, you already have a degree in a BS, a bachelor's in something, and you want to do the MSN direct entry program, meaning that you are going to be a nurse practitioner and you're going to function and work as a nurse practitioner. For me, that is a big no. You need to go work at that bedside first for at least a few years. Once you get a couple of years or two, three years under your belt for that, then go on and, and become the NP that you have you want to be and, and take care of patients. But again, I'm not going to go on from that tangent because you all know how I feel about that. But again, besides that, take the route that you want to take. If you want to be a nurse practitioner, be a nurse practitioner. If you want to be a CRNA, be a CRNA. Do the things that you want to do. Don't fall into that narrative. Well, my mom says people are saying that it's not worth the money to be a LPN. It's not worth the money to be a, a social degree nurse. Just go for the BSN. And, um, if it's good for you, it's good for you. Unless they pay in for your education. And that's kind of how I feel about it. Unless somebody paying for my education, you ain't got nothing to say. I'm going to take the route I want to take. So unless you paying for my, my, my bachelor's degree, because financially I can only afford to start the LP and work my way up or whatever you decide to do, then you do what you need to do. And don't worry about what everybody else is saying, because that's exactly what people are wanting to do. People always got something to say, but they can't help you with it. They always got something to say when they ain't never did nothing themselves. So don't let those people be a distraction to you. And you know, you follow the route that's good for you. I'm gonna follow the route that's good for me. You follow the route that's good for you. And so if it means a scenic route, enjoy the journey. If it means going straight to it, enjoy the journey. That is the key. That is the point. So thank you for joining me on this Nurses Week. Um, hopefully you're enjoying the content this week. As you know, I come do this every Nurses Week every year. This is Nurses Week 2022. And we are going to definitely continue with these nursing videos for the Nurses Week uh, duration. And follow me on my social media platforms. And until the next time, you all take care. Bye-bye.